Hi, I'm Makeup Maria from Miami, and I'm obsessed with all things Lisa Eldridge. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am obsessed with all things Lisa Eldridge. This is her sweatshirt over here. You see her book, um, my lipstick, my current lipstick collection. And today we're going to talk about the four new, my four new purchases. I have also purchased her foundation, highlighter, liquid blush, and liquid eyeshadow. And I heard she has a few more um, eyeshadows that are good. She's going to roll out, so that's exciting. And I have not purchased her lip pencils. So I have a Lisa Eldridge playlist that I'll link below. So if you want to watch more Lisa Eldridge um, obsession videos, then stay tuned. But first, I have a disclaimer. If you watch my videos, my last video talked about some pro-choice, pro-abortion talking points and links to information. And I mentioned one of the ways to be active is to limit your consumerism, particularly in the month of July. Um, and so I had pledged to do that. I wasn't going to buy any makeup in July or skincare. And then Lisa <laughs> released her lipsticks. And so I decided to purchase from Lisa because she's a British company and she's woman owned. And so I felt that it was appropriate to do that and because I am such a fan. Also, shout out to my fellow Lisa Eldridge fans, and I know there are a lot of you out there. I'd like to invite you to join the reproductive uh, justice movement. Uh, go to Abortion Access Front on YouTube for an introduction to the challenges, a lot of, inf lot of information, a lot of places to fight to get uh, our rights back. And someone in the group said that they put bullshit on blast, which I love. So there's gonna be a link below check them out. Lisa Eldridge's new lipstick release occurred July 8th and it has a definite summer vibe. There are 10 new shades, seven new luxuriously lucent and three insanely saturated. I purchased two of each. After I introduce the shades, I'll compare them to other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and some of my other faves. But during Lisa's release video, she warned everyone to be careful when you open up the lipstick in the tube. This is my Velvet Carnival and it you'll see that it's pretty messed up. And in a minute I'll show you why. <sighs> so I purchased four total, two luxurious lucent and two insanely saturated. And the first one is Je ne sais quoi. And when Lisa did this video, she always has these wonderful ways of describing the video. And for Je ne sais quoi, she called it a summary magic lies in the duality of its vibrancy and subtlety. That's great, right? So this is Je ne sais quoi in the bullet and here it is on my lips i have not a lot of color on my lips i have very fair olive complexion and dry lips so that's some information for you as far as comparisons there we go oh that's a pretty Okay, that's je ne sais quoi, one light coat. And this is a heavier, more intense. So let me just pay attention to what she said. Here we go. This is je ne sais quoi, a little heavier. It's really pretty, it's very moisturizing and it does brighten up your face. It's a wonderful summer. Peachy, corally, just a nice vibrant summer lipstick. I like it. Okay, the next one is Wonder Wheel. And Lisa described this one as 
a mouth-wateringly vibrant reddish pink with all the heating nostalgic fun of the Ferris wheel. So here is, this is gorgeous. This is Wonder Wheel. And it looks pinky orangey, which is one of my favorite colors. And this is also luxuriously lucent. So this is a light. It's just, it's very similar, but it's a little bit more pinky. Feels great. And let's put a little, another swipe. Okay. It's a little darker. I think they're very flattering and they definitely uplift your face. And then I'm going to try this one as a blush as well. I mean, protect it. Okay. I had a little bit of blush on, but it had faded, so a little powder brush. Powder blush. So yeah, so I mean, I think all of I've done this before with other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, and I think that they're really great for blush. Okay, so the next one is Strawberry Shortcake, and Lisa called it a sun-filtered red that hides a dash of shocking punk pink extremity at its heart. So this is it, and this is in the Insanely Saturated, which is kind of like the matte but it's a soft matte and so here it is on my lips oh yeah i should have put i should have put some balm on i didn't This is the color on my lips. It is very pretty, but it's definitely a matte. For mature lips, it's still a little bit, I feel, dry right now. Again, because I didn't put a lip balm before, I probably should. The color is gorgeous though. So this is Strawberry Shortcake. I put some lip balm on and my lips are a little bit better shape. The next shade that I purchased is New Wave. And I've discussed before in my videos that I am a big fan of purpley lipsticks, believe it or not. It's, it's strange, I know, but um, there was a purple lipstick that I actually have here. I have a little, I have it in a little pod, and so I'm going to compare it to this one. But when I saw this, I thought, and, but the thing is, this is a NARS formula that's very, very drying. It's totally fully matte, and so I'm hoping that this can give me that color that I want, but it's a little bit kinder to my lips. So here is the, the color, it's New Wave. And Lisa says, with its cool blue undertones, this statement cyclamen, cyclamen shade is shot through with edgy glamor and electronica chic. She also called it subversive. So she, she had me at subversive. Anyway, let's try it. Okay. This is New Wave. On my lips, I'm seeing, at least in the viewfinder, it's looking red. Um, I think in real life, it's definitely looking more purpley. I mean, I love it, but I will compare it to the NARS formula in a moment if you're interested. Okay, these are the four shades swatched on my hand from top to bottom. The top one is Je ne sais quoi. The second one is Wonder Wheel. They're very similar. Je ne sais quoi is a little peachier and Wonder Wheel is a little pinker. The next one is Strawberry Shortcake. 
which is a orangey red and it's got the different it's a, insanely saturated so it's a little bit thicker it's a little um, like a soft matte and the next one is new wave and that's also like the purpley tone and closer to the camera you can see that it's purpley less so when it's farther away okay so next you see the comparison swatches uh, on the top is dance card very similar but more lighter a little peachy pinky no more pinky yeah the second one is love of my life it's also very similar but has a little bit more of a reddish pink tone I think and then you have velvet morning and that from the camera it looks exactly the same but it's a it's a different texture it's more it's more matte um, and to me it's, it's got more of a orangey hue and then the last one is velvet carnival and that also is very similar again a different texture it's velvet um, and it's a little lighter actually than new wave i'm going to compare the uh, new wave the lisa eldridge new wave with the nars uh, purple lipstick that i have on this lip brush because it broke but this is the color so let's see if we can compare top lip to bottom lip okay that is really interesting if you can see it I think that the NARS lipstick is actually a little brighter. It's a really, really pretty color. I think I can get this, well, at least I can, if I tone down the new wave, the Lisa Eldridge new wave, I could get somewhat of the same look, but I, I gotta say, I gotta give it to NARS. NARS color is just spectacular. I might actually even repurchase it and just use a lip balm with it all the time because this color is stunning. It's stunning on people who are olive skin, but fair uh, or light, I should say. Um, my daughter used it, my mom used it, and it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna mix them together. That's really pretty too. Okay, sorry, at least you can't win them all. Okay, so here's some more comparisons. On the bottom, you have the NARS um, little circle. Then in the on the top, the, the new circle is the Rose Shigon from Sisley, which is a great, great color. And then the one in the center, the orangey red, is Tiger Lily for Shantakai also very similar and a great consistency it's kind of a balmy but lipsticky as well it's kind of a luxuriously loosened but it has a little bit more pigment in it so just for shits and grins this is a first impression of these lipsticks and I have to say overall I love them because I think Lisa Eldridge puts a lot of thought and care into uh, her products and it shows and the way that it lays on the lips and I know from experience that they last long and they don't smear and they're 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 nice lipsticks but as far as the colors I would have to say that one of my favorites is the uh, Je ne sais quoi just because it it is that it does it looks peachy but it's actually kind of a pinky peach so it brightens up your lips but it's still kind of cash which is you know wonderful and then I think my second favorite I mean I like Wonder Wheel but I think it's not my favorite actually I think my second favorite has to be the strawberry shock because it looks it's a it's a really pretty amped up orangey pinky red color that again is comfortable and it's in the insanely saturated which I prefer to the mattes um, and obviously I love New Wave, but I'm a little disappointed that it's not a dupe for the NARS lipstick that I love. And it's not to say that I don't like Wonder Wheel. I think Wonder Wheel probably will be used more for a blush than anything else just because it's a really, really pretty blush color. 
I didn't get any, I didn't get the beigey tones because I have purchased Velvet Fawn. It's in my collection and it looks like death on me. It just does not work. I definitely need uh, punchier colors uh, for my complexion. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next Lisa Eldridge video and for more information on how you can get help get our rights back. So I urge you to look at the links below and find out if there's someone something there that you can do. And sometimes it's as easy as donating or just talking about it um, and just being aware that there is a huge movement going on. And if you can reproduce or used to reproduce, this is something that really affects you. So I would urge you to be aware of what's going on with the Supreme Court in this country. So thank you. Wear sunscreen. Bye.